can make us lose our Cougar Campus news. Hello students and staff, this is Lauren staying safe at home while bringing you your Cougar Campus news. Students, as a reminder, except for the office being open from 10 to 2 on Tuesdays and Thursdays, our campus is closed, and that includes the athletic fields. Cougars, during this challenging time of shelter in place, a lot may be coming up for you. For mental health support, please contact Caroline Morton at the email address you see on the screen right now. Students, the ASB elections will be happening next week electronically. This past Friday, here on the Campus News, we met the candidates for Vice President. Today, we'll have the opportunity to meet the rest of the candidates. So, let's start with the candidates running for ASB President. Hey Cougars, I'm Dana Hammerstrong. And I'm Sarah Sprinkle. And we're running for your ASB co-president because we need a strong base for our leadership class next year. We have both been in leadership for three years and have been class officers for a combined five years. We want to show you what it looks like when people in positions of power make changes to improve Half Moon Bay High School. Leadership should be a class of a thousand suits, not just the 43 that are registered. We are qualified to lead you next year because of our experience. We have worked hard to form close relationships with our administration and the people in our community through school site council meetings, district meetings, and other community events. With that being said, what we will bring to the position will be a result of everything we have learned over the past three years. For example, because leadership is a school-funded program, there's often an issue with having enough money to create the ideal experience for our high school students. Because of my continued involvement with the school site council meetings, I've been a witness to a lot of the behind-the-scenes decision-making that directly affects our school. A lot of times opportunities to allocate money towards benefiting our student body come up. So with us as your co-presidents, we would be fortunate enough to attend those meetings with the specific goal of prioritizing leadership's needs for the year in order to give you guys the best year possible. Leadership in high school inspired me to pursue ways I could get involved outside of my community. What started as a weekend retreat called RILA turned into a lifelong commitment to being a leader. If elected next year, we will change how leadership interacts with the student body because they are one and the same. For a long time, leadership has operated as a separate body, but next year we want to bridge the gap because leadership was created to serve a student body from within. We will accomplish this by applying the same energy and vigor that goes into homecoming week to every event throughout the year. We want to facilitate a year of crazy assemblies and fantastic memories. Right now, this is a leadership run class. We will make sure that next year, this is a leadership run school. Sarah and I have been friends for the better part of a decade, and with that comes a level of mutual respect, love, and trust that cannot be replicated. That relationship is necessary to lead with integrity and maximize our impact on Half Moon Bay High School. Hey there Cougars. Now at this point, I'm probably a fairly familiar face to some of you, but for those of you who don't know me, hi, I'm Noah Hill. I'm part of the media team for leadership, and I've also been class vice president for two consecutive years. For my fourth and final year of leadership, I will be running for the position of ASB president. Now, the past couple of months have been really tough on everybody, especially leadership. But I know that we have the tenacity to bounce back, and that's why I need your vote to help make that happen. Thank you all, have a great day, and most importantly, stay healthy. Thanks to all the candidates running for president. Best of luck to you. And now, let's meet the candidates running for ASB Secretary. Hey Cougars, my name is Sean Powell and I'm running for Secretary. Why are you running? Why are you running? I'm glad you asked. You know, growing up, most kids want to be an astronaut or a firefighter, but my childhood dream was to always be ASB Secretary. Much, much, much later. As a secretary, you don't have quite as many responsibilities as a president, for example. But if I'm elected, I'll do everything I can to help the rest of the ASB board out and tackle any responsibilities that come our way. I hope to increase the spirit around the school by putting as much thought possible into all spirit activities to make it more exciting for the students. <laughs> I would also like to introduce new spirit days, such as meme day, and other fun days to spread positive vibes around the school. I ain't gonna sleep cause of y'all! Y'all not gonna get sleep cause of me! My name is Natalie and I approve of this message. Hey Cougars, um, I'm Owen. I am a sophomore currently and I am running for ASB secretary. 
I decided to run for ASB secretary because I love the school, I love the leadership class, and I want the students' voices to be heard. Alright, my uh, experience with leadership includes being the class vice president for the last two years, and I was a student body officer at the I believe I'm the best candidate because um, I have great relationships with all the other candidates for the other positions. Um, I'm great working in groups, and I believe I'm the best voice for the students. If elected, I'd make sure to bridge the gap between the leadership class and the student body. I feel like in the past you've been a divide. So, my solutions are more polls sent out to the student body about dress up days, dances, all that type of stuff. And then also, maybe put a suggestion box in the office. Another thing I'd focus on if elected is our school spirit. I feel like this year we lost a lot of opportunities to make memories with our classmates due to school closure. If elected, I'd make sure to implement more themed sporting events, better dances, and better assemblies. Thanks to both of the candidates running for ASB secretary. Good luck! And now let's meet the candidates running for ASB student board representative. Hi, my name is Caroline Dodge. I'm going to be a senior next year and I'm running for the student body rep position. I'm running for this position because I'm interested about what's going on in our district and I'd like to have a more involved role. What I will bring to the position is energy, strong communication and efficiency. I will provide the information to the students in a fun and engaging manner. If I am elected, the change that I'm hoping to bring is for the students to really understand the news presented and how it affects our school and community as a whole. So please vote me as student rep. Hey Cougars, didn't see you there. I'm Dylan Woodbridge, a sophomore, and I'm running for student body representative. Firstly, I want to say I hope I find all of you in good health during these unprecedented times. We're all in this together, and I hope everyone is staying strong. I've been an active, trustworthy participant in leadership for relatively two years, and have been sophomore class secretary for the past year. While in leadership, I have grown as an individual. I have seen how leadership has benefited the school, and I want to take a step further in connecting the community with the school. I have attended board meetings, and I have spent time with the current student body representative. I understand what the position entails, and I am fully qualified for being your next student body representative. I will advocate for what is best for the high school, and will work hard to make sure the change that we want to create is heard by the adults who run the schools. I hope to see all of you this coming fall. Thank you. Thanks to both the candidates for student body rep. Now here's Mr. Nazar and a few other staff members with a short announcement discussing the importance of voting. Students, the democratic process does not stop at Half Moon Bay High School. Listen to the candidates, then cast your ballot for the student that you feel can best represent all of us. Hi Cougars, remember your vote counts. So take a break from remote learning and cast your vote for next year's ASB. Hi Cougars, I'm here with Rudy and we're here to encourage you to vote for your ASB officers. Rudy says vote, 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 vote. So let's do it. Half Moon Bay High School students, now's the time. Listen to the candidates, follow your heart, and vote, vote, vote. Hey Cougars, don't forget to vote in your ASB elections. Hey students, it's uh, getting to be election time. I'm getting fired up. You see, I got my red, white, and blue on. So uh, take part in the ASB elections. Watch the uh, videos from the various candidates. Get uh, out there and vote. You're going to be doing your voting electronically. Vote, 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 vote. The ASB voting window is now open. Look for an email from Mr. Jones with a Google form and you will be able to vote safely from your home during quarantine. Are you a senior who passed art with a B or better? Would you like to look extra special in your graduation robe? If you answered yes to these two questions, then you are eligible to be a member of the National Art Honor Society and are entitled to wear a rainbow cord at graduation. Please email Mr. Reardon at the address you see now to sign up for your cord. Seniors, the community service requirement has not yet changed. You still need 35 hours of community service in order to graduate. If you have not yet completed your hours, don't worry, as there are community service opportunities, even during the shelter in place. You can help write letters to first responders, and Sea Huggers is still doing beach cleanups, 
while maintaining social distancing rules. Email Ms. Lomely in the counseling office for more information. And now it's time for the next episode of the Teacher Diaries. Here's Mr. Hoskins with a special song performed on his guitar. Hello students, this is Mr. Hoskins and uh, us teachers have been asked to share some of the things that we've been working on uh, during the COVID thing and this is a song uh, that from the 1970s um, called You Are the Woman um, and uh, uh, by Firefall and I've been working on it so I'll share it with you. You may have heard it before. you missed your calling as a 1970s rock and roll star. The Housing Leadership Council of San Mateo County is hosting a music, art, and poetry contest, and first place prizes are $100 for each category. For more information, contact Leora at the email address you see now on the screen. Students, if you have any belongings still in your PE locker, please come by the high school Tuesdays and Thursdays between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Thanks for watching the Cougar News. Stay healthy and safe.